Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to episode 7 of my SPAD 13 build. So, here we are. I'm going to try and fix those bent outer braces and see what we can do about it. Firstly, I'm going to try a strip of copper sheath to see if I can brace it. Here we go. Well, copper strip didn't work, so I've glued it. And I'm going to use some masking tape to try and keep it straight. Here goes again. Once I can find the end of the masking tape. Yeah, there we go. Well, that didn't work either. Now for something a little more drastic. That with the snips. As the brace is bending, it's telling me it's too long. So I snip a little off each half of the brace. So, hopefully, allowing the brace to lay straight. Fingers crossed. That seems to have worked, so let's leave that to dry and crack on. I'm not sure if anybody noticed, but I knocked one of the plastic arms off for the wheels, so I'm going to have to recre recreate them here. I'm going to snip off the excess, drill out the holes, then pop some styrene rod into the holes and attach the wheels, all in double quick time using my speedy uppy thing. Just when you think things are going well, you drill at the wrong angle and pop the plastic on the other side. Oh! But don't worry, this can be fixed with a little dissolved putty and a lick of paint. 
Anyway, on with doing the axles for the wheels. There you go, I've glued the axles into the wheels themselves so we can now let those dry, come back to them in a bit and add them to the model. I was having one of those senior moments here you know where you just can't work out what you've got to do? Then I realised that the holes weren't large enough so I had to drill them out. Here's the wheels on. Now for a little bit of PE, the gun sight. That's the gun sight on. Now to fix the hole I drilled earlier with a little bit of Mr. Hobby's dissolved putty. I think I need to have missed that one. Time to straighten up those wheels. They look straight to me and so we'll leave those to dry now. Next I'm doing the silver parts of the model. I'm using Tamiya's X32 titanium silver. If it's not chrome then I use this. And remember, gloves on! That's the silver done, so let's leave it to dry. Now we can crack on with the copper on the exhausts. Right, that's the copper done. Now to touch up some of the black. That's looking good, and I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to do the show and tell part. Grr. Guess what? Yep, I forgot to do some silver. Don't! Oh! I personally think the rigging is too thick. I might just change it for the fine fishing line. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, let's crack on and finish painting the rigging. There we go, that's hopefully all the silver done. Now it's time to touch up the blue. This is going to be a continuous feature, doing paint touch-ups. Well, there's the blue done. Now, back to copper. Right, that's those little copper sensors done. 
I think that this paint, it's Tamiya's XF28 Dark Copper, looks more like worn brass than the brass colour does. In an earlier episode, you saw me bin a small bit of the model, as it wasn't there in the original. What is there is three brass pipes, so, foolishly, I decided to add them to the model. I'm such a glutton for punishment. To do this, I'm using lead wire or solder, they're the same thing, to simulate the pipes, and I'm sticking them to the model using super glue. There we go, and yes, another show and tell failure. I'm sorry about this. I'll learn for my next build. Promise. Time for some more touching up. This time, no, not silver, this time it's white. Oh, my favorite color. There's the white touched up. Next, I'm going to fix something. I had an accident, I dropped the model, and this happened. Talk about gutted. But there is a silver lining. I managed to rectify the braces. So, that's a good thing. What I'm going to do is use a speedy uppy thing, cut a big chunk out of the middle, as even with speeding up, this fix, it lasts for more than two minutes, so, Let's crack on. Here I've had to use my trusty third hand vice. fixed. All in all, that was about an hour's work there, so it didn't take me too long to rectify my silly mistake. Now it's time for some varnishing, so let's get this jobby jobbed. That was nice and easy, so let's put that to one side and just let it dry. Now that's dried, I'm going to give it another coat just to be sure.
let's let that coat dry and then we can crack on with some deckling. First I'm going to cut the decals out in preparation for applying them to the model. I'm also going to be using Microset, my own decal solution, a couple of brushes, some tweezers, cotton buds and paper towels. So let's get this going. What I'm going to do is cut a chunk out of the middle again because even with the speedy uppy thing this is still over five minutes long. I've slowed it back down here as I made a right faux pas. I forgot to varnish the wheels. So, with putting my decal solution on, it's brought the paint off. I'm gonna to attempt to fix this in the next episode, but I thought I would mention it so you guys don't make the same mistake that I've made. Look, I did a show and tell of my cock up. Typical, highlight my mistakes but forget to highlight the good parts. Oh well, at least I'm learning. Right. Let's leave those to dry before I do the stars on the nose. These stars are all individual and come in two different sizes, so I'll try to be as random as I can with them. It took over an hour to do these stars, so I'll speed it up with my speedy uppy thing, but cut a chunk out in the middle where everything went well, and if I make a mistake, I'll highlight it. Let's go. So, there we have all the stars done. And look, I did a show and tell. I'm happy with this, so 
let's send this episode on a high. Remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember guys, stay safe, keep on modelling.